Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen. gentlemen. Tonight's, battle Tonight's battle is brought to you by Mighty Mouse, Mighty Mouse and, and Clear Silicone. Clear silicone. In this corner, in this we, corner have we have Corn Starch. Corn starch. And, in and in this corner, corner we have, have Dawn. Dawn. Ready? Ready? Begin. Begin. Hi folks, welcome to the silicone battle. And uh, there are two ways of doing silicone molding. You can use a cornstarch, which is a dry method, and then a wet method with Dawn. Now I've done a video with Dawn uh, before making an actual soap mold, which worked out pretty well. But a viewer and subscriber had asked me if I had would do a comparison for her and so this is for you re, uh, viewer subscriber thank you very much for asking i couldn't give a direct answer so now after this experiment i will be able to give a direct answer which one of these is best for making soap molds specifically not necessarily for making like a candy molds or something like that so i chose these bread pans merely because they are uh coated and they also have very soft edges around here. So I have used this on the inside for making soap and it was extremely difficult to get it out. Uh, and then I learned to use some sort of a liner like a plastic grocery bag or something. But then it leaves wrinkles and stuff. So I want a nice smooth edge. I'm not gonna get a smooth edge here because it's just the way the pan wrinkled in, in uh, production <clears throat> when they made this thing. So in order for me to do this, uh, with something without wrinkles, it would have to be a glass pan. I don't have any. But I like this shape because this size here allows me to cut slices and then cut the slices in half. And we use those as giveaway bars and bars that go up around the sink and, and stuff uh, in the house. So this is the perfect size for this experiment. I'm going to make actually two batches. And um, I suspect this is a one and a half pound uh, loaf of soap if I fill it all the way to the top. If not, I have some extra cups laying around. So, without any further ado, let's dig in. Okay, I'm going to do the Dawn first. And uh, I wear gloves. Now, I don't know whether or not uh, the silicone chemical uh, agent that is in it that stinks uh, is bad for your skin or not. So whenever you're in doubt, wear gloves. And it's a bit chilly in here this, today, so I'm going to use water that's a little bit warmed up. I don't know whether or not cold water will enhance the activation period and make it start getting too solid too quickly. Uh, so with this thing here being the right size that I want, I want it to be able to uh, hold the soap in without it without it bowing out on the side. So I'm gonna use the whole tube on, on the entire thing. And uh, I think it should be strong enough on the sides. I'll beef it up there because I'll be doing it as I'm old. Okay, if you don't have one of these uh, guns, for shooting out uh, any kind of silicone or glue. They're quite handy, they're very cheap, and uh, there's a myriad of other uses that you can use this for as well. And uh, I've seen people make paper briquettes with these things. All you gotta do is uh, get yourself a tube like this size, and then the plunger will squish it down very tight. Actually, I think he had a lot of success with that. So this uses a lot of Dawn, which is the only drawback if you're trying to be frugal. Um, I'm going to put in about a little more than a fourth, not quite a half of this thing. So if you're wondering about the cost, I uh, got the silicone from um, Dollar General, $3.50. That's actually a very good price for a tube. And in a previous video, I also sharpened my snippers. So this is the first time I'll be using them since then. Oh, wow, did that shoot? <laughs> Glad my eye didn't get shot out. So, the next thing I gotta do is punch a hole down in the base of this thing. If you have something uh, that you can push all the way down there, that's all it takes. I wiggle it around a little bit just to make sure it's open as wide as possible. And then I got uh, paper towels handy. Because you wanna get this stuff off fairly quickly. 
Silicone is extremely sticky. And uh, on some surfaces, it may be difficult to get off. On a flat surface, uh, it wouldn't be a problem at all. So, let's see how this stuff squeezes out. Oh, good. It's fairly fresh. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to use the whole tube, which really is not that much silicone. It is if you have a project in mind. Now, I have another pair of gloves that are nitrile. And so I don't know whether latex would be sticky on this or nitrile would be sticky. So either way, I don't know that uh, it's going to matter because people online are using their hands without gloves. So I'm probably being a bit paranoid. All right. Boy, does that smell good. <coughs> I'm in the garage. I definitely would not want to do this inside. So... Now I got to get that soap moving around in there. I should have mixed that up better. So it's sticking on me. If it starts sticking on you, just add some soap to your hand. It's a great release agent. There, that's better. So what you want to do is uh, grab the glob and just knead it in the water until it no longer sticks to you. Okay, I'm going to switch over to nitro gloves. I suspect that the uh, latex is uh, extremely uh, receptive. And I need something more resistant. Like, uh, it's not sticking to the glass in there, so I know it has enough Dawn. Let's see. Put a little bit on my hands first. Let's see if it sticks to this. I, I, I couldn't need it at all. Oh, yeah. Okay, folks, there's an educational moment for myself. The latex uh, gloves are not good. Uh, this stuff here was sticking to it so bad that I couldn't use it at all in any uh, form or fashion. So now I'm, I'm able to pull it out of the water and, and knead it, as you can see. And it's not sticking to the nitrile glove at all. You know what? I'll put some release agent on here. Can't hurt, right? A little bit of soap. A little bit goes a long way. Let's see, how do I want to do this? to rip. I think it needs to get a little bit harder. So we need some more kneading. Okay. I think that looks good. Looks like a piece of bread dough. Okay, this is what I've been using to warm myself up a little bit and I'm going to use it to dry this out a little bit faster as well. Nothing like a little heat to speed things up. It is tacky. It's tacky and it's no longer flowing so I guess I could have kneaded it a little bit longer but I'd be afraid that I wouldn't be able to mess with it. Some expensive stuff.
All right, it's time for part two. New pair of gloves. I imagine I'm going to need quite a bit. I'm going to keep it open in case I need more. And I'm going to make myself a dibbit in golf terms. That's a hole. Make sure it's not touching the bottom. This stuff stacks pretty well. May not be able to see it because it's snow white. But I would say that should hold all of it right there. Here we go. This is a fun experiment, folks, because I'm learning at the same time. I've not done this before, except with uh, a smaller mold. Oh, I forgot. It's going to stink. i got to turn my fan on. Boy, I would think that this tub is bigger than the other one, but it's not. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of this on top. Okay, I had about a 10 minute delay because the postman came and uh, with it being holiday time, I don't know if uh, that would cause an issue, but uh, we'll see. It still feels like it's quite soft, ready to be molded. Oop! Don't want to do that. Still can't pick it up yet. So it's letting it set for 10 minutes. Maybe that was a good idea. This feels entirely different. It feels more like bread dough. Feels like you can eat it. Oh, geez. It looks like bread dough. Hope I didn't have too much starch. Boy, does that stink. Woo! Okay, it's getting sticky. I guess I didn't have too much. Unlike the Dawn, I just keep adding more cornstarch. I wonder if this already is ready to go without flow. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Every now and then I get a whiff. Woo. Less than two minutes in eating. This is interesting. It is sticky. <laughs> Just like making bread. It's definitely not flowing. I'm gonna take a piece off. Let's, yeah, it sticks. This may be the better way. No, it is flowing. very sticky bread though. Ah. 
Okay, there it is, folks. Two completed molds. And uh, if I were had categories of, of working with it, I would say that it would be like, will it hold water? Will it not bow out on the sides? Does, is it stable? Does it come off easily? Does it soak, uh, stay easily, come out of the mold easily? But as far as it being moldable and workable, within two minutes, of kneading that one was ready to go and I needed this one at least 20 minutes and it didn't seem like it wanted to stick to itself when pieces broke off uh, whereas in this one it did I don't see any holes because it's white it's easier to see whether or not I've got holes so I'm gonna come back uh, maybe in a couple of days and see how this looks coming off of the pan and then will they hold water and I may have to do some repairs on this one because there are some thin spots uh, but it, it may not be necessarily leak areas but we shall see stay tuned the next day the time has come for the reveal I don't know that I need water uh. It still feels a little tacky. Doesn't feel like parts of it have solidified yet. Oh my goodness. It must be too cold out in the garage. Okay. Well, I'll put the kibosh on that. It's popping off. That definitely feels flimsy. Not sure it will hold water. Still stinky too. It's bulging out. <laughs> It's going to need some support. Now, I could just put some tape across the top of it. That would be about all it needs. It is a bit flimsy and skinny in some spots, so. But it looks like it's holding water. Not very well. Yeah, there is a hole right there. I can see right through it. I need to go back to the garage and fix that. And now for the other one. Not sure this one here has got the same problem. It feels dry. I think that the uh, the uh, corn starch actually removes moisture, but it is coming off. It is uh, stuck on there a lot harder than the other one, which actually surprises me. I thought this one here would be the one that. Uh, would pop just slide right off. I'm afraid of breaking it. Well, I guess I could be tougher with it than I thought. Got a tear there. All right. That feels and looks better. Wow, it's holding water. It doesn't even need much support at all. I'm really surprised. I think it still would support it a little bit, maybe with a string or something there. And it looks like it's holding water. I can even pick it up. That's unbelievable. Okay. They will both work. But for some reason, this one here has more steady structure than this one here does. That's very interesting. So, let's go back to the boxing ring for an announcement. Ladies and Ladies gentlemen, and gentlemen there, has there has been a decision. Been a decision. Since, there, Since was there was no TKO, no TKO there, will there will be an RTD, a referee, a referee technical, technical decision. decision. And, and our, our winner, winner in tonight's, tonight's battle, battle is... is, is
cornstarch. <laughs>